please, and then Lou. Thank you very much. My name is Ahmed Fathi. I'm a correspondent for various Arabic language uh, news media. Uh, Under Secretary General, uh, please, uh, with regard to the DRC and the Sudan, in the DRC you mentioned that uh, a lot of the armed groups have ceased uh, operation, including there is 1,500 soldiers who ceased to fight. May I ask, what's the, uh, the procedure is followed with these soldiers that ceased to fight? Is there any sort of rehabilitation for them or an incentivizing for them not to go back into mercenary and engage in, in armed uh, conflict? And the other uh, part of my question, uh, it's on the Sudans, and you mentioned that there is 14 uh, peacekeepers uh, have killed during the year, which is something uh, very uh, sad, and our condolences for the family and the loved ones. Uh, but uh, what's beyond the Doha process? Obviously, the Doha process is not fulfilling what it was established for. Uh, how far uh, does the UN peacekeepers have to wait and see their colleagues uh, fall uh, while uh, the politicians have reached to a stage of uh, impotence uh, in dealing with such matter? Thank you very much. On the DRC, sir, I would perhaps uh, not use the word soldiers. Uh, combatants, yes, but definitely not soldiers. I think if we are seeing uh, s relatively large, those relatively large numbers of people just stopping to fight, I think it is in large part because of the deterrent effort, uh, effect of the brigade, the intervention brigade, and now the drones. Uh, people think that uh, maybe it's not worth their while, you know, to continue uh, combating. Yet, of course, it is true that we cannot leave them in a vacuum because if they see nothing coming their way, then of course they might very well return to their terrible uh, habits. This is why uh, it is terribly important to have a real DDR process, disarmament, uh, this uh, um, demobilization, thank you, and reintegration. Now, not reintegration into the army of the Congo, that is very clear from the point of view of the government, but <coughs> reintegration into society, giving them a sense, giving them back or giving them altogether a sense of belonging to their national community, so civic education, and eventually uh, giving them some sort of training that will allow them to take a job and possibly return to their place of origin. So we are waiting any day. That was my message uh, in my meetings last week with the President, the Prime Minister. We are waiting uh, for their plan, because it has to be their plan, and we're ready to move in with all our teams and our experts into implementing, actually, uh, the measures. But first, we need their political decision, and that's very urgent. <coughs> Sorry, regarding the Sudan, mm -hmm. I think I said that the Doha process uh, is what it is. There's no other game in town. Uh, we know that one of the limitations is the fact that several armed groups are not signatories to this agreement. Uh, so it is, in effect, a large part of the work of our Joint Special Representative, Mohamed Chambas, to try and get more movements uh, to become signatories. He's had consultations, in particular at the end of summer in Kampala. He's having regular meetings to try and bring them in so that circle can enlarge and that the implementation can then proceed under better conditions. But it is, I do agree, a difficult and uh, time-consuming um, exercise.